Hey, what's up guys? My name is Achena. Welcome to a GitHub tutorial. So this is going to be a two-parter. The first part, which is this video, is going to cover how to actually use the website and just to get the, the code as text, kind of. So just using the website alone. And then the second video, which is going to come out tomorrow, that's going to cover um, how to integrate it with Eclipse because it, it integrates really well with Eclipse. Okay, so anyway, um, this is, by the way, the context of this is for the Cherno chat, uh, which is the network uh, chat programming series. So that's like the example of what we're going to use, but of course you can use this for any GitHub project. Okay, so um, the first thing you need to do is actually go to a URL, and again, that'll be in the description, and at, it is in the description of every uh, video in the network chat programming series, and that is the repository, right? But before I show you that, I'm going to show you my account, basically. So all you have to do is go to github.com slash the churno, and that's it. And that'll come up with this. And from here, um, this is going to be basically all of my all of my uh, different code re repositories and stuff like that. Um, so the thing is, I don't actually have an avatar. I should probably do that. But um, from here, you can actually, if you do actually have a GitHub account, you can follow me, for example, and then you'll be able to see any code that I post and all that stuff. That's probably a good idea. Um, and of course, the main thing is you can you can actually see all of my repositories right here. So if you have Cherno uh, Chat, that's the only one I've got right now. So if we click on that. Um, and again, that takes us to github.com forward slash the Cherno forward slash Cherno chat, okay? And that's the link that is at the end of every network chat programming video. And so from here, what you can do is you can actually read the readme, which is, you know, quite a good read as you can see. And, um, but the important thing is this is where the code is actually located for Cherno chat, okay? So if you uh, look over here, this, this is the list of files. So if, if we hit source, com, the Cherno, and you can probably tell that this is like the Java packages, that's how they work. Um, we get to this file eventually called login.java, and if we click that, you can actually see that we have um, episode 3 here, the episode 3 source code, which is right over here. And the reason we have episode 3 source code right now is because that is the latest episode at the time of me making this video. I haven't actually, um, I haven't, I haven't actually committed any other code changes after that yet. So that is all the code, and as you can see, you can read it here, and everything is nice. You can actually copy, you can do whatever you want with it. But um, that's all that's all good, right? And you can copy it and everything. In fact, in fact, if you actually hit raw here, you actually get a much uh, nicer looking interface, as you can see here. And you can just uh, Command A or Control A, whatever, Control C and Control V, copy that to wherever you like, and then you'll just get the entire source code. That's good. But let's just say that um, you know you're not up to the latest episode, and you don't want to just copy all the code from the latest episode. You actually want to copy, let's just say you're up to episode one, something went wrong, it's not working. You don't want to have to deal with all this complex stuff. It's not that complex yet, but it will be. Um, you don't want to have to deal with all this. You just want to just get the bare necessities down and just make sure that it actually works um, for episode one. You can do that, okay? So let's go back to Cherno Chat. Um, you can see up here we've got four commits, and that's what it's at at the moment. Okay, all you have to do is click on that, four commits right here. And that'll actually list all of the commits. And what are commits? Commits are just basically every time that I've pushed new code onto this repository, right? So every time I've added some changes and I've decided to accept, I guess, the changes, I can actually um, add them into this repository. And that's what a commit is. So every time that I've actually added code into this code base, um, that's called a commit. And you can see I've done it four times right now. The first one is just an, an initial commit, and that's just adding the readme and setting everything up. But um, over here, you see episode 1, 2, and 3, okay? Now, let's just say we're up to episode 1, because that was our example. You can just simply click on that, and you'll see a list of all the changes. And for this right now, you'll see a bunch of green here, which means that I've added code. You can see that I've got 37, I've changed one file with 37 add additions and zero deletions. Um, and from then on, you can actually hit the, you can copy this, but you can see there's all these pluses here, and it's just not really nice. You can hit the view file button right over here, and then the raw button, and then just copy it. And you can see that this is much less code than before because this is only episode one code. And then from then on, you know, you can paste it into, you know, Sublime Text or whatever your favorite um, thing is, Eclipse, of course, um, anything basically. And you can see that it all shows up nicely here, and that's just the code for episode one. So that's how that kind of works. Um, and using this method, of course, you can access any episode you want. So let's just uh, look at episode two, for example, right over here. Um, you can see over here that uh, we actually have a bunch of red here as well, and that's the stuff that I've removed, such as the border layout import and the set bounce. And you can see that I've removed set bounce and added set size and set location relative to. So you would have seen that if you watched episode two. Um, 
And yeah, just in general, you can see everything that I've added. And you can actually see 18 additions and four deletions and all that stuff. Okay, so that's all cool and cool. Um, now let's take let's take a look at what we can actually do if we actually log in. So hit the sign up button if you don't already have a GitHub account. If you do, hit the sign in button. I'm going to sign in as a different account. I'm going to sign in as uh, the Cherno project, which is uh, not the account that has access to this repository. Um, I actually know my password. Is it that? No, I think it's this. Yes, sweet. Okay, so I don't have any verified emails. Great, but um, the point is now that we've logged in, I I do not have access to this repository. So in other words, I can't actually um, add changes to it. This isn't the account that I use to create this. So this is what your your view will kind of look like. Um, what you can do from here is there's actually a little watch thing, and the cool thing about watch thing is. I'll, I'll show you guys in a minute here, but there's, there are these things on GitHub called discussions, which are very cool as well. But if you hit the watching button, you'll actually be watch you'll, you'll actually be watching for any changes here, so you'll get notified if I if I add new code. Um, but the cool thing is that uh, you can actually again, let's just go to a commit here. Let's just say episode two, um, and over here, right? I've tried to set bounds and I've added all this thing. You can actually just hit this button right here. So if you hover your mouse over the line of code and then hit the plus button thing, you can actually just write a write a um, comment uh, to that specific line. So for example, if you're getting an error at a particular line or you just want to make a comment or you think one line of code might be done a better way, you can be like, nice job, Cherno. That was sweet. Um, and then you can just comment. Okay, and as you can see, I just left a comment on that line. Um, and of course, if you just want to comment on the entire file, you can do that below as well. Okay, so that's a really cool thing that you can do. And again, everyone will get, um, I think you will get, I'm not 100% sure, but I think uh, you'll get a notification if you're involved in, in, a in a discussion and you add something and blah, blah, blah. You can mute it as you can see here if you don't want notifications. But um, I think everyone's probably going to get this notification. Um, um, Sweet GitHub tutorial here. <laughs> okay, and you know, etc. I'm just showing you guys an example, and you can comment here, and you guys can start discussions, and all that stuff. So that's that's what you can do if you actually log in, and that's what I recommend you do. You create an account and you follow this repository, whatever you want. Um, so yeah, that's basically how you can use GitHub to um, view code and uh, talk about it and stuff like that. It's a very cool system. It's very hard to set up with an actual. Um, you know, if you actually want to add code to a repository or remove code from from repositories, so that's kind of hard. But um, in order to actually integrate this code into Eclipse, like instantly, I'm going to show you guys how to do that tomorrow. So, yes, I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.